Hello and welcome to a new video with a new platform in Flying Upload. It's called Tostadora. It's from Spain and the main marketplaces are of course the Spanish, the Italian and the French one. Tostadora itself comes from near Barcelona from what I know and is on the market since 2009. Why have we implemented this platform? We run a test over the last few weeks. If you can sell here organically, this test was very positive and this is why we integrated it, brought it out. Our users can use it since a few days and they also have already sales. So um, yeah, very surprising positive to be honest. And if you have now a big question mark how this works and what to do here, no worries, I will explain everything to you what we found out over the last few weeks to help you help you get started on Tostadora. So when you're first on the platform, it will look like this. Then you can create, of course, your seller's account. And when you are here in your seller account, the most important thing is you have to create a store like I did here. You can create more stores. This is important because every store can just hold um, a maximum number of items. It's not so easy to find out what exactly this number is. It seems like you create a store and then it has to get manu manually reviewed by Tostadora. Till that you can upload like yeah, 750 items. And when the store is reviewed, you can like upload 2000 items in your store. What is items? Um, the thing is you have here a section designs and a section items or products. You upload a design and Tostadora has no template model. So you decide on what items, t-shirt for men, women, kids, um, canvas prints, hoodies and so on. You decide where your design goes on and every product or item is one slot. When you have done that um, or when you created a store more or less, you're ready to upload with Flying Upload. Um, I already yeah, have a design prepared here. If you have you already listing from Flying Upload, you did weeks or months ago, perfect. You just have to drag and drop it in and you can use it again. You can upload with one click without any effort starting to make money and sales on Tostadora. Easier than that. All you have to do here is you go to your settings, you go to your templates, you have here now Tostadora and when you go on it, you can um, select your input language you want to upload. Um, it has different URLs like tostadora.com, latostadora.com la for Spain and so on. So you can decide here what language you want. You can enter here your store name. In this case for us, it's flying. And also a store section. This is like a category, um, fun designs or sports designs and so on. We um, let it empty in this case, so that will be just uploaded to the general catalog. And then you enable here your marketplaces you want and yeah, enter here your royalty, I go with four. And then you can enable your products here. If you're a smart thinker, you recognize probably by now, okay, when I have just uh, yeah, a maximum number of slots, I just upload, for example, a, a t-shirt and then I can upload a maximum number of designs. This is right. You can do that, but um, you have to think about one thing, and this is this year, the Tostadora search section. And you can see here, you can select here between all these different products. And the thing is, when you upload your design on a man's t-shirt, it can be found on the marketplace here. But if you upload, or if a customer searches hoodies, it will never find your design because um, you just uploaded it on the main product for t-shirts. If the customer is on your t-shirt, of course he can also buy a hoodie, but he won't find it in the search. So you have to decide on what products you want it. What's the better way? I can't tell you, you have to find it out yourself what works best for you. Um, in my case, I would say I go with all the t-shirts and yeah, this is it, maybe not uh, the hoodie. And for me, this is probably the yeah, most famous products. And this is a good deal between search and item slots. So when you decided yet that, then simply go to upload. 
we can close this here click on tostadora and the upload will start don't forget to configure your auto login i did that before um, yeah, it's it, just your mail the password all encrypted and then the upload can begin so this is now where the store is selected that's why it's so important to create it before and then our design will be added and we enabled the t-shirts and the hoodie for men I think in the first step the design gets uploaded then all the text get entered and the background color you chose in flying upload will of course be also chosen here in this case black and after this data was entered the second step begins the design will be added to the products or items you selected and you see the tool automatically resizes the product as good as it can or as big as it can um, to yeah, represent or present it to the customer as good as possible. This was the women's shirt, now the kids shirt. And then the hoodie. And last but not least, the fourth product we enabled was the men's t-shirt. This was the second step. Now the, your design is all on all the products you want. And now is the third step where your um, language gets chosen, where your price gets entered, so your royalty on the price and also the description. And then it will always be saved with a click on the button like you see here and then it's fully prepared online and after a manual review of your store your designs will can also be um, or are also on the marketplace and every customer can find them and this was it price was entered description was entered this was the third step it's finished your design is now online on tostadora and that's how the upload works